What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Android application development video in Android Studio. In this video, we are going to design Facebook login page. So at the end of this video, we are going to accept this. So this is our Facebook login page where we have background, Facebook logo, the input items, buttons and everything. So let's get started. So I have already created a project empty activity with hello world over here. So I have run this application. This is like this now. First thing we will remove this action bar. So let's go to themes. In resource values, themes, themes.xml, we will remove this action bar, no action bar. And also we will change the status bar color. We will set the status bar color as the Facebook blue color. I have the color code, so 053D87. This is the Facebook blue color in status bar. And also we will change the primary color. The primary color will be color code 1878F3. So these changes we will also do on night theme. We will set it to no action bar and color we will set same thing for primary color and for status bar color. So now if we run the application, our action bar is also gone and status bar color is also changed. So let's close these themes. We will need these two icon. One is Facebook login background and one is Facebook logo. So these two icon I will copy from here and paste it in a project drawable folder. Now we can design the Facebook login page. So let's go to activity main.xml and split the code. Let's change this constant layout to relative layout and remove this text view from here. First thing we will add the background which is here and we will add one logo in center of that background. For that let's create a relative layout. Width will be match parent, height we will set to 200 dp and we will set the background of this relative layout as Facebook login background which I added just now in drawable folder. So this will look like this and we will add logo in center of this. So for that we will set a image view, wrap content, wrap content and source will be our Facebook logo and we will give some padding about 70 dp and we will center that uh, center in parent true. So it will look like this. So we have created a background and logos. So let's give a name or ID for this. We'll set as login background so we can access it. So let's go to out of this relative layout and create a linear layout for other design. So we will width match parent height will be wrap content and orientation we will set it to vertical and it will be below our login background. So inside this linear layout we will add all the items that are edit text buttons and other things. Let's add a edit text first. Edit text width match parent height we will give 64 dp hint will be phone or email some padding we will give about 8 dp so this is our edit text with phone and email we can copy this and set for same for password also so hint will be password and input type we will set to password so that password will not be visible so this is done we will add a button now login button so button match parent height wrap content we will add a text to button that will be log in all capital we will set it to false so that it will be small character also and padding we will give around 12 dp so the color it will take from the primary color we have added already now below this we will add a forgot password text that will be our text view match parent wrap content text will be forgot password uh, text style we will set it to bold we will center it like gravity center and we will set the text color as same color we have set in status bar color that is 0523A5 so this will be our forgot password in bold color so below this we have two divider and in between we have or so let's create that with linear layout so that we can add three layout inside them so linear layout width match parent height wrap content and orientation we will set it to horizontal so that we can add horizontally so first will be view width will be match parent height will be 1 dp for divider so we will set the color for this background that will be gray color e7 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 and we can add a text view that will be wrap content wrap content text will be or copy this view and paste it below the or so here this or is not visible because this view has taken the match parent width. So we will set a weight for this layout weight 1. I'll copy this and set for this also. So or is visible. But divider are not in center. So let's center it. Gravity 
center vertical so it will center all the dividers now we will set the margin to r so margin start also 4 dp and margin end also 4 dp now it will look like this so below this linear layout we will add a button for create new facebook account so button width will be wrap content height will be wrap content and text we will set as create new facebook account and all caps we will set it to false and we will center it with layout gravity center and also we will change the color of this so background tint we will set it to green color which color code is 30A24B so this will look like this now if you run the application so our application is looking like this background and logo is correct but we have to add margins over here so let's add those so first we will add the margin from this full background that is relative layout we will add margin bottom about 64 dp so here it will be margin and above this login button also we will add margin so let's go to login button margin top will be 16 dp and also above this forget password so we will copy this in forget password also margin top 16 dp in this layout also we will keep it same uh, it is quite smaller so let's keep it 32 dp and also margin bottom we will set to 32 dp so now it will look like this and overall margin we have to set margin left and right so let's go to this linear layout for this and set the margin about 24 dp from all the sides so now it is looking good let's run it so yes now our application is looking like facebook login so this background we added logo also and to edit text we can add phone number and password also and login button forget password everything we have added so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts or inquiries please comment below i will reply for you and don't forget to click on subscribe button before going for this type of videos see you in the next video Bye bye